I think the game itself needed addressing. I think when you look at Arkham Asylum, because my favourite YouTuber, well obviously he's, I got a load of different YouTubers that I like and because I'm my own right now, I think what he says about, he loves about Arkham Asylum, the, the claustrophobic feel. I just, when I, whenever I watch the game itself, I know the dialogue and I know the, the challenge maps and I know the, the sort of area and surroundings and I feel kind of good about it because the more I play it, the more I watch it, the more I engage in it, then I feel like I'm obsessed in, into this world and I'd, I'd, I want to be in that world. Whereas when you're in a sort of like dramatic sort of you're listening to what other people are saying around you and they're talking shit, you're involved in that world. So for me to make a choice, I'd rather just say I'm going to just stick to this world, you know, because it's it's for me. You get me, it's, and I and I want to sort of say for Arkham Asylum alone, it had so much potential. Not not that it didn't kill it. It obviously it obviously surprised me. I mean, I remember the first time I played it. I mean, I played the demo version and I was just already hooked, you know. I, I managed to, I managed to feel so in into it that, you know, it was the only ever Arkham game I needed because it was, it was one game and then I, I remember thinking to myself, I remember people telling me they've made, they're working on Arkham Asylum, uh, another, sto another story for the game, but then I searched Arkham Asylum 2, but then ended up saying Arkham City. So then I eventually got round to that, but I didn't like the idea of the Joker being the villain again. I wanted, I wanted some different villains, and again, every time I play it, you know, whether I'm gliding or beating up some bad guys, or you know, I'm I'm solving riddles and getting some Riddler trophies, you know. I I I always tell myself that this is sick, you know, and 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 how this game was made for me because Arkham City was the second it was it wasn't it's not supposed to be a sequel to Arkham Asylum it's supposed to be a different story but like not the second film you know not the second not the second um it's supposed to be another storyline explained whereas you had you've you've been to Arkham Asylum you've taken Joker he ran free and you know obviously you saw him running and and giggling and you know you saw him with his evil plans and what he was doing to batman and i think the the the, the developers should have touched more on that like what can we do aside from saying we've made a story with joker who can we do next dead shot the identity thief hush and bane Killer Croc, you know, you you sort of had you sort of had characters that you couldn't really engage with in Arkham City, but you'd see them, you know, and you'd you you you'd talk about him because obviously with Deadshot, you only get to take him down once, whereas you don't get a boss fight with him, you don't get a boss fight with the Identity Thief, you know, you don't get a, a boss fight with Killer Croc either. So you know, you you only get to sort of stand opposite Bane, but then there are other characters like Mad Hatter, which you do, but only the Again, takedown. So, so then, aside from that, you get the AR challenges. You know, where you basically get the grapnel boost. You get the the freeze cluster grenade, which traps a uh, multiple enemies. Um, so that's a pretty good a pretty good power up gadget that you can unlock um, via the steel mill. You know. Um, as well as battling Clayface and Mr. Freeze. I think not not doing the same for Arkham Knight and Arkham Legacy. I think I think having that ideal that yeah, he's he's been to Arkham Asylum, he's he's dealt with Hugo Strange in Arkham City now. We've watched the trailers, we've we've watched people's, you know, gameplays on Arkham Origins. And it's time to make something a little bigger, a little better, you know, something like what WWE would do with SmackDown versus Raw, something similar, you know, giving Batman an opportunity.